So Project Pat season is officially over. The Ravens placed him on injured reserve with a knee injury. And I believe, I'm pretty sure he had uh, some knee issues in weeks prior. Uh, but he did play last week. And I wonder if he might have been rushed back a bit. I'm not sure. Uh, but I wonder if he like re-agitated the same knee that it was. Uh, and, and made things a little bit worse, uh, but we'll never know. But P Project Pat, um, shout out to him. Been a good fullback. Uh, always showed a lot of heart, a whole lot of heart. Uh, was one of the fan favorites for the Ravens. Um, always did his thing out there and did his thing to the best of his ability. Whatever he was asked to do, he would go out there and do it. Um, whether it was offense and then in past years, it's been a while, but it would be defense too. And he, he was cool. He was cool. Uh, but the reason I say all of that stuff like that is because hit the game against the Packers, that, that might've been his last game as a Raven. Might've been his last one. Um, because we know, uh, Project Pat, this was the last year of his deal. Um, and he is heading into free agency. So anything could happen. Ravens could bring him back. Uh, but at the same time, Ravens may be like, look, maybe we want to take our offense in a different direction. We want to spread it out a bit more. And not saying that they will be forgetting about the run game, but they may be like, you know what? It just maybe not. It just may not be a fit. And with fullbacks, they are um, they are a dying breed. Uh, because if you ask me, and you asked me to name a fullback in the league, I could only name you uh, Pat Ricard and Kyle Juszczyk. Other than that, I cannot name not one fullback from another team. I'm trying to think. Oh, maybe um, Watt. Uh, not TJ Watt. And obviously not JJ Watt. What's the other Watt brother on the Steelers' name? I, I forget his name. Anyway, um, but I think Derek. I think Derek Watt, something like that. But that's it. That's all I know. Because people, they don't rock with fullbacks like that nowadays. They just, it's, it's, it's more of one of those things of the past. But Ravens are a team that have, and it's been like that for a couple of years now. But Ravens are a team that have held strong when it comes to fullbacks. So we'll see what happens when it comes to Pat Ricard. Now, um, Nick Boyle. Nick Boyle got placed on the COVID list. Or Pat Ricard is on there too, but he's out for the season. So... Um, but Nick Boyle got placed on a COVID list. So, unlike in year, I uh, will not in even in years past. What am I talking about? Unlike in uh, this season past, they they changed the rules. The rules are different. But whether vaccinated, unvaccinated, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, he he would be out five days if he's asymptomatic. But that puts us past the game. So, yeah. So Nick Boyle's season could also be done. Uh, it could also be done, but no. If he's if he's vaccinated though, then he would have to take two tests. Today's Thursday, so he would have to test negative for forty eight hours. Um, so that will be Friday and Saturday. So maybe he could maybe make the game. He might be able to make the game. So all hope is not lost for Nick Boyle, but we'll see what goes down with that. Lamar Jackson. I mean, everybody knows what to expect, or really what not to expect. He didn't practice yesterday. He didn't practice today. Lamar Jackson, his season has been over for a while. Not officially, but yeah, it's been over for a while. Um, his injury has just, it's been one of those things where, again, you, you, you were thinking it's one thing. It might be something else, but. Yeah, Ravens, they, they, they held out some hope, like just maybe, hopefully, maybe he can have some crazy, miraculous recovery or something like that. But yeah, Lamar's been done for a while now. And we're creeping up closer and closer to the time when it'll be official that his season is over. Hope, hopefully now, hopefully we get uh, another week. To where they can play this whole game about, oh, yeah, Lamar's questionable going into the game because that would mean that the Ravens made the playoffs. That would mean that the Ravens won against the Steelers, and they've been losing a lot of guys to their COVID list, but that would mean the Ravens won against the Steelers. The Jaguars beat the Colts, and I know a lot of y'all like, oh, no, it ain't happening, but it's very possible. The Patriots would beat the Dolphins, and then... um. 
The Browns game don't matter anymore since they lost already to the Steelers on Monday night. But then that last game of the night on Sunday, the Raiders would have to beat the Chargers. So they're going to have some extra motivation going into that game. I mean, already because it is uh, to get into the playoffs. Like <laughs> You don't need no more motivation than that. Um, but that's going to be a very special game for the Raiders because they got some special things going on uh, pregame. Um, so that should give them some added like oomph to really get things cracking. So we'll see. Um, anyway, uh, Nick Boyle, he he has one year left on his deal. That's been one person I've been wondering about um, if the Ravens could possibly. But he's he's a great blocker when he's healthy. They just Nick Boyle this year. He just he hasn't been healthy this year. He has not been healthy this year. Uh, he tore up everything last year, um, had the surgery, and then this offseason, like training camp and stuff, he had another surgery to clean some stuff up in there, uh, and then he was just out. He was just out for the longest, and then they were like, oh, yeah, Nick Boyle, oh, he, we finally designated, designated him to return to practice. And I was like, okay, yeah, we get Nick Boyle back, and then he finally came back. It was put on the active roster, played in the game, and then we didn't see him for like two or three games after that. And it was like, oh, man. So he, yeah, he must not be all the way right. Then we finally saw him again, and, and he looked kind of himself. He looked a, a little bit off. There was one game in particular. I'm not sure if it was the Packers game or the game before the Packers. I mean, excuse me. I'm not sure if it was the Rams game or the game before the Rams game. But there was a game when I was watching him. I saw him, and he it looked like he was just like, Limping a little bit, not like a crazy limp, but just just a little bit. And I was like, "Ooh, that that ain't really look so good." So I wonder if he was even ever like fully ready to go this year. Uh, I I doubt it. But again, the in injuries this year have just it's it's been so sad for the Ravens because it's like they 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 lost enough people, and then it seemed as if for some of the people that they did have that had been injured before. A lot of them may have been rushed back, like Ronnie Stanley, uh, Derek Wolf. I'm not even sure what happened with that situation, but Nick Boyle, it seems as if it could have happened to Pat Ricard, too. Um, there's another. Oh, Tyler Huntley. Tyler Huntley. My guy JT pointed this out to me because I was like, man, I, I didn't even realize. I didn't, I didn't even put two and two together. With Tyler Huntley, he had just gotten off the COVID list. And we know with COVID, it can have after effects and whatnot. Um, I feel like this is, what are we in, 2022 now? Wow, we're going to be in March. It's going to be have been two years come March uh, that this thing has really been in full effect. But um, so I feel like everybody like is almost like an expert on it now. But anyway, with Tyler Huntley, he had just come off the COVID list last week. And I remember um, after after halftime, so this is like, after the Ravens have had that 15-minute break, way after that. So they, they got time to relax. They got time to rest and whatnot, recuperate. But after halftime, the camera was on Tyler Huntley on the sidelines sitting down, and he had the breathing mask on. He had the breathing mask on, and I'm like, can he be that tired? But I, hadn't even, I wasn't even thinking, like, oh, yeah, he just came off the COVID list. So maybe he was having some breathing issues. I had, I had not thought about that. And I was like, when my guy JT pointed that, I was like, wow. So maybe, I mean, maybe he not necessarily was even rushed back, but maybe he just wasn't all the way ready yet. But he was like, man, I, I got to play. I got to put on for my boys, man. And he he did that. Um, just another reminder, though, I'm, I'm sure a lot of fans, have, a lot of fans have cooled off with that recently. Because I've been, I had been saying, I know y'all saw a lot of it too. Like, oh yeah, Ravens should roll with Tyler Huntley and, and get rid of Lamar Jackson. Now, Tyler Huntley been doing his thing now. Like Tyler Huntley a lot. But, now nah, that, that, that wouldn't be a very wise move uh, for those Baltimore Ravens. Um, so, yeah, man. Uh, we, um, tomorrow, got a lot of uh, questions from subscribers. Uh, between tomorrow and Saturday and then yeah Sunday it could be our last Ravens stream of the season 
It could be. Um, that wow, that would be wild. That that's gonna be like a um, a crazy moment if, if that ends up being the case. Uh, that one last thing before we get out of here. There's been a lot of um back and forth amongst Ravens fans. Oh, should the Ravens give a tribute to Ben Roethlisberger with this uh last game? Uh, and I was in a, a Twitter space yesterday, uh, and I shared my thoughts on that, and I shared with y'all too, um, because I know a lot of Ravens fans been debating this. For this week um, But I do I do think the Ravens should give him A farewell tribute Right there at M&T Bank Stadium Right on the, the, those big screens And of course the uh, those newer screens That they put over in the corners a couple years back too They should definitely give him a tribute What they should do They should start it off with a nice song A nice slow serenading song A sweet song And show Ben Roethlisberger doing his thing Holding his one arm up Throwing some passes and whatever. And then they should change it. They should change it up and show just show a bunch of highlights of every sack that the Ravens have got on Ben Roethlisberger over the years. That's what they should do. Show literally every single sack. And mm, this now this next part, it depends on how the game is going. But if if the Ravens are winning. And, oh, man, it would be even better if the Ravens were winning by a lot, too. I don't know if I envisioned that, but if the Ravens are winning, even if it's a close game, I don't even care, man. This this season, this is this could be the last game. Go out with a bang. I don't even care. Ain't nobody going to be on, oh, we'll remember that next season. I don't care. They, of course, going to play the Seven Nation Army and all that. They play that every home game. We know that. We get that. And now a lot of other teams, they've been playing it, too, for the past couple years or whatever. But what Ravens should do. They should play Renegade. Ooh, I would love if they did. They should play Renegade. For that, you got to be winning, though. If Steelers are winning and they play Renegade, it's going to be a lot of Steelers fans there because, I mean, I know a lot of y'all got the text. I sure got the text. Um, I think I got it yesterday. Let me see. From uh, from Rave Ticks. Let me see. There it goes. Steelers ticket returns just released for Sunday game. They sent that yesterday at 6.03, basically saying that a lot of Ravens fans, they done turn in their, they, they, they return their tickets, so a lot of tickets done opened up. Or well, some Steelers fans possibly, too. They're like, oh, I don't want to go to that game. But a lot of tickets opened up, a lot of tickets cleared up, so you got an opportunity to go to the game. If you want, tickets probably going to be cheap. So anyway, um, if, if they play Renegade, that would be nice. But Ravens, they couldn't be that petty and loose. Because <laughs> you're you going to look like a fool That's a big risk but, So they need to just have it Have it uh, on the MP3 ha Have that MP3 ready Have that audio file ready Just in case But Ravens, would they would have to win And they would have to close it out So, oh, you know what? If they, victory formation That's if they should. That's when they should do it Or when the game is officially like Alright, we good we, we got it So, just my thoughts though They probably won't roll with it But you never know Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And just like, uh, unfortunately, Pat Ricard is this week and for the season, and just like with Nick Boyle, like he is for this week, I'm out.